should be live now. I've noticed that the recording begins around eight or nine seconds in. So right now I'm just going to check on YouTube, make sure everything's recording. Uh, before uh, that yet, I can see it on YouTube. Before we can get things settled, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not sure how long I can go. I noticed last night while recording my MLB stream, I started to come down with something. And in fact, <coughs> Yeah, my throat feels really scratchy right now. So I may have to stop after five minutes. I don't think I'm... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I don't think I can record. Well, I'll try beginning, and I'll see how long I can go. But already it's starting to seem a little impossible. For All right, so here we go. That's a nice little bit of customization. As the game loads, I want to say that I've wanted to record something Batman oriented for a while. When Batman had his 75th anniversary, I felt like I should put together something because Batman is my favorite character, but the moment passed and I didn't really, wasn't really recording anything at that point. I've only begun recording this year. Yeah, but in preparation for that, anticipating that I would record something, I read a book called Batman and Philosophy. And most of the essays in that really weren't useful, but there was one at the very beginning about the ethical dilemma of the trolley, which I may discuss during the playthrough. Animation looks good. Hey, what are you? Character animations aren't the most detailed, but with Telltale games, really it's priced into the game itself that you're playing for the adventure game aspect. It's not AAA, it's not going to attract the kind of players that would play a AAA game, so their budget's a lot smaller. Get it open! On it. So you're not really looking for the kind of show you would get in the whole goddamn place now. Stay focused! We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Having said that, though, it's good, it's serviceable. Move like, in. like this Lieutenant Gordon animation. He looks really chunky, chunkier than he should. The hell? Back! Get back! Gordon. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Once. Once I get Take a moment, I'm going to stories, adjust you know, the settings. I want to make the stuff home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Yeah, regarding the game, this is supposed to take around, <clears throat> take place around the time of the Batman first year, what we call Batman Year One, Batman Year Two. Oh, okay. I believe this will allow us to get into adjust some of the settings here. Now, first one I want to set is subtitles and make them large because the medium's not quite big enough. Brightness was okay, everything else was fine. We can leave that for now. And then, oops, nope, I want to do. And come back to the previous menu. Alright, we should be fine now. And resume game. Press X. Alright. That was really nice, the detail on the harpoon, harpoon gun, was, was good. The grappling gun, I should say. Ah! Never 
we're about to get a set series of quick time events, I'm guessing. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. They need something to fear. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Shit! This is beginning at a really nice pace. The hell it's much gone. faster than I thought. Whatever I thought it would, Don't would begin with maybe a tutorial section or some point to allow me to give a proper introduction. But no, we're right in it. Now, I think it works here because you can assume that most people playing this game are familiar with the character of Batman, but generally I'm not a fan of an action film beginning with an action sequence without, there's no, you have no time for that? the audience to learn about the character or develop any emotional connection to the character. I think for many people that doesn't matter, but I'm one of those if I get an action scene where I haven't had a chance to... Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. There. Oh, there. If I get an action scene where I haven't had a chance to develop a bond with the characters, then the action scene leaves me feeling flat. Back to back. Circle up! In the Rocksteady games, doing this, these stealth attacks are really satisfying. Here it's just point and click. Oh shit. No, it got it. Uh, but really, combat in a Telltale game is never going to be as satisfying as it could be in a beat em up because it's just quick time and moving the joystick. I know you're trying to create a myth. Thumbstick. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! But again, oops. you know, if you're playing a Telltale game, you're not here for the, the fight, fight scenes. You're here for the writing and for the decision trees you come in with the character. Uh, down. Did I get that? Okay. Oh, yeah, I missed that. There we go. Uh. So I'm guessing green means I succeeded. Yeah, but green Batman means I succeeded. And yellow Batman means I missed. I'm guessing. Uh. R2. Uh... This should be easy, but I'm trying to talk and give commentary at the same time while I'm doing it. Uh, there we go. So that makes it a lot harder than, than it would be for, for a usual player. There we go. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Yeah. I'm just hitting this as soon as I see it, but I wonder if I'm supposed to hit it when the arrow turns dark orange, if, it's, if there's timing involved. Seems like I'm getting it, but I'm really wondering if I'm doing it properly. Since I haven't missed, I must be doing it right. But Stay where you are. I'm going to give it a try and only do it You're when under the, the arrows light up and see what happens then. Well, if you want to 
be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Right, I'm gonna pause because I want to send a link to this on my Facebook page. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Copy that. Alright. The pace is a lot brisker than I was expecting, which is good. And the music is a nice pastiche of the films. Take a drink of tea while I'm here. Let's go. Let's go. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Nice comeback. I'm trying... Bring it back. While that was going on, I was trying to look who the voice actors are. For some reason, I thought I heard Troy Baker does Batman. Okay, so it only lights up after I push the ah, down the thumbstick. Only after I've selected the thumbstick. And I want to guess Tara Reid doing Catwoman. So I'm trying to look it up on the Wikipedia and play at the same time, but it's just not working. But as soon as I get a moment, I'll look up the cast list. Alright, now I believe this must be the tutorial because I'm getting everything much too easily. So the hitbox window must be really large right now. Oh wow, there was a way for me to dodge that, huh? Holy hell! Are you getting this? Move us in closer! I guess. <laughs> it's over. I wouldn't be so sure. That was clever. Alright. Oh. Ah, darn it, I missed it. I missed it. I did hit R2. I lined it up, but I did hit R2, so I think Who that was a possible Jesus fail. Got it. Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Yeah, so I missed that one. Okay, so it is a little more difficult than I thought, so I missed that too. Uh, XR2. Okay, so I did that successfully. Cool. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth That's can't no be answer. killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! Well, I like this beginning 
I have to say, I did watch the first episode of playthrough. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I totally missed that. See, it can't fail. That's one of the criticisms of Telltale Games. I totally missed that, but yet it was still performed successfully. Maybe because it's a tutorial, but the main selling point of Telltale Games, one of them is the branching tree, trees created by your decisions. And most people think, or many people think, that there aren't enough. You really can't branch that much. That no matter what you do, the decision tree is much narrower than it should be. So, for example, there should have been something there for me failing that. I totally failed it, but the game went on regardless because there was only really one outcome. Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. I'm gonna go silent here. Well, it's been fun. Bye, Bat. <laughs> I like that they give you the option for being silent, although I don't know if there are real consequences for being silent, usually. But it's nice that they provide that option. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Yes, Troy Baker is Bruce Wayne. It's credited on Wikipedia. I don't know if there's a separate voice actor for Batman. That would be surprising to me if there were. Yes. And Catwoman? Uh, let me see. I'm looking Thank you. At Wikipedia now. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like it's myself not, oh, is not uh, Laura used Bailey. to such a okay. ringing endorsement. So I made a mistake, not terrible. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Now, here's one of the aspects of the Telltale game that I really appreciated, and that was that you get a chance to explore Wayne, Gotham. My campaign's Gotham. largest backer, and the that politics applause, behind he would... it. Well, there he is, fashionable and through the lens of Bruce Wayne, as always. It, one of the feelings, Say at least hi, for Bruce. me, of the Rocksteady games. Welcome to, Welcome Wayne, Manor. to Wayne Manor, everyone. Is that My you don't get much opportunity arrival. to play I'm as not Bruce. Not worry, Mr. Wayne. It's almost We've all Batman. made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. But yet, here, the second major sequence of the game, we are Mr. placed Wayne. into the shoes of Bruce thank Wayne. Thank you for opening really your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax. It was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things. So, and truth I decided told, to play straight with him. What? A chance to show off Instead your teeth of and talk quick. about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. And you want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just right, fine guys. here. Huh? It shouldn't huh? be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. No, it's I didn't say home. I'd do anything for Gotham. This will the help choice was I'm doing it for Once Gotham. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, so I'm afraid be a hero for funding my there campaign. won't be a quite one-to-one -one correspondence between slogan. the options and what the character I'm says, and that's those. something of a problem. It always makes me sound like a used car games. salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? 
Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Well, here, <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's going to be Two-Face. We do see Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent is the opposite to Batman's law, because if you have, uh, to Batman's order, because if you have, no, wait, to Batman's law, because if you have law without order, then you have fascism. What? Mr. Wayne, There's I'd no like to introduce you to Bob and Regina. Law without order. Law that does not make sense. Too. And Hello, Bruce. once Harvey Regina goes a little bit crazy, then you, Enterprises and you get husband voted broken, for Mayor Hill broken law. Time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we nice trust Harvey. someone like you to right, lead so this I'm, city to greatness. Well, thank you. But I'm going to play as straight up as Bruce. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly. But this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. Uh, I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. And that Bruce's main goal hmm? no is strings attached. to improve Gotham. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt. Trying to find out who the one voice man actor for can't Harvey Dent is city. was. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has Still to fix this Still can't find city. out who the voice for Harvey Dent is. I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. For sure, the I am not doing this alone. Laid out that well. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art oh, mental Travis health Willingham. facility to help Gotham's <coughs> most right, at-risk individuals. Let's see what else Travis has done. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. So Truly he's done. Terrible. Oh, cast member of Critical uh, Role. Tragedy like that at such a young age. He's also done a number of cartoon animated crippled. series and anime. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. So here, because they're talking well, about his life you. personally, I I'm going to could be here speaking with you too. Address that as a personal and matter rather you, than Bruce, deflecting the Harvey. Investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Look at those bottles behind Vicky Vale. They're really dead. They're not doing your anything. Own party See them? The three people all the there. Champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. 
just a day. <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce yeah, look at them. They're not doing. They're not talking. Round. Not doing anything. All no, the people I back take there. Nights and weekends off. That's really bad. Mr. Wayne, you. That's one sign. It's not a triple A game. Color. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like. No, oh, this. No, that's nothing. It just uh. Cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this So, city. Batman Year One Excuse implies us, dealing with the Falcones, usually. And this game is no exception. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. <sighs> Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. There, I'm going to be the honest morning, voice Bruce. to the king. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. That sounds like walk up, the sky actor high from ceilings, plenty the, of room for my cars. What's the Macaulay games on PlayStation 3 and 4? Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built what's this. What's what's the name of those it's games? It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne, and everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for Richard welcoming me into your home. All right, let's see. So, what has he done? You're a respectable man, I hear. I'm gonna refuse. If I had just, if I had just urged Harvey that he should not have voted, invited Carmine Gentlemen, Falcone here, then why am I going to shake his hand? Comfortable in the parlor. And I wasn't sure I was going to make that decision until right now. I knew it was a, a choice in this first episode. But I hadn't decided ahead of time what I would do. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you Uncharted, busy for a few yes, minutes. that's right. He was have a drink, have a talk. The sidekick in the Uncharted games. I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I'm really pissing off that corny, aren't that. I? <laughs> Seen and not heard. Whatever you. Ah, ah, what did I say? Well, it looks like we're not going to have Falcone on our side. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. Now, if Harvey were having a meeting with someone like this... And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. You would have your lawyer with the you. The man talks too much. Chaps because face with words. you have to well, worry I would about say you can uephold the law and still do a criminal right. figure like him point. compromising you no in some way gets or for staying in the middle claiming after the fact that something had happened uh, Mr. Falcone, and then using it trying warnings. to use his leverage against you later I ain't here to chinwag about politics Mr. Wayne gives me indigestion I got enough of that as is but we've already got hints that Harvey might be compromised so, since he's accepting financial donations from Falcone. Chalk this for me. Oh. Here, pal. <laughs> I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Yeah, I'm Whatever totally not taking to his shit. a gracious host. <laughs> okay, I did not imagine. expect... I didn't this know how I was going me. to react to Falcone before, before playing. All my friends so I'm surprised. 
I've, business, I've decided to go down this route. Clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Nice I make break. them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. So here, Falcone represents the city as it has been, and Bruce and is the, the city break? as it should be. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. So the old order versus the, the new order, or at least the agent of change for Master Bruce, the new your order. guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. We were no longer we were the never interested in prick. selling it. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. So help me if they say Falcone was somehow involved in the death of Bruce's mom and dad, that would be really lame. But I have a bad intimation the way that that picture played into their interaction that that, that might happen. This is our first real pause in the game. Just load screen until the next to the next section. Oh, here we go. So we had the the long introduction before the the credit sequence. Had almost a half an hour. It's a long, long time. And, but I still don't feel like I have a chance to really properly introduce this playthrough it's me. because it, the pace is so brisk. There's been no. No section of the game where I get to explore a room which would allow me to to just stop in and talk about my attitude toward the game, how I'll be approaching the playthrough. We might get it here. It might give us a chance to explore the, the back cave. Nice spot. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battering rams to force their way in. Subtitles not fast enough. Incident up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. Why are those? We have breaking news those tonight. are obviously Five the tickets the the, the Wayne spot the night they were murdered. So why are they out of the protective the the display Batman, case? The stolen items were returned. The Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Right, I have a sense here. We're gonna get a chance to introduce. Yes, we are. Okay. So this will be a little bit of a pause. I hope. I don't see a timer. So, um, I, I thought I might check right uh, A few years ago, I was interested in doing some sort of re just gonna keep talking. recording about the 75th anniversary of Batman, the importance of Batman's to me. Can I turn this off? Let's see what happens. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. Because I didn't really have the... I wasn't recording at that time, that moment passed. But I did read uh, the philosophy of Batman in preparation for... I, when I was trying to compose my ideas, form some ideas that would succinctly express my attitude toward Batman, who is my favorite superhero, one of my favorite characters in literature. Uh, but now that I've got... I'm recording. Okay, good. It's going to pause. 
random stabbings nope, are not gonna the latest headache for the riders. I wonder how much of this Gotham's information is relevant to the game or just or just world building. But any event, I did read, I have some material that I want, hopefully will use as background for this playthrough. The first is a couple histories that were written about Telltale Games and the work culture that existed in Telltale Games. Uh, one of those I can reference right now, at least give you the name of it. It was an article in... But all the, the Verge, on The Verge, the written by Megan Farrell Farrell Manesh. And sister, Leon and Another should be considered dangerous reference material is the podcast slash web series Fat Man on Batman. Several years ago, Mayor Kevin Gotham Smith interviewed Grant Morrison, today. and some of Grant Morrison's ideas about Batman, I think, may play play an important role in my commentary and the playthrough. And lastly, at least for now, I've begun reading a history of Batman called... I'm going to look that up right now. I've got it on Kindle. I'm impressed that this recording is still going on. It hasn't repeated. It's pretty nice. It's called The Cape Crusader, Batman and the Rise of Nerd Culture by Glenn Weldon. I'm about 20 pages in. That's It's a really good book so far, so that may also shape my opinion and backgrounds on the history of Batman. Alright, now that we've uh, I've had a chance to kind of introduce what my take on this will be just introduce I haven't had there's more I have more I can discuss about that we can I can save that for later uh, I think it'll be time for me to explore the back cave a little bit more alright now I'm pouring some tea I'm impressed this is still going on Oh, hey, he used when Bruce's suggestion. Look at that. You. That's pretty neat. Dead, and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. Are we going to get a loop? Talk about dirty politics. I don't Does know. Really think these hold yeah, I don't think... For, voters, for a playthrough, I don't think I would be able to just watch all that post I appreciate that. The codex I checked out before beginning to play through. Gotham feed. I want to see what this is. Okay, so it's lore. The fire department has thrown at it. World lore. It's pretty nice. I can possibly check that out on my own outside of the playthrough. So, and one monster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garconi was found hanging off the side of the Fourth Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles. So, Falcone cops cut him down. Oh, because Batman, maybe I. I miss it. That sounded important, but oh well. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to right, contend with. So it's data for Look at it. Are investigating multiple the back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that storm drive. Or other pointed weapon, while put the, blessed into the tight quarters with fellow put the drive into the port, maybe? Died, while most have been admitted to Gotham over here. general in critical condition. Got stuff over here. Police don't have any suspects at the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's this. Two more right. patients have gone missing okay. from Let's Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison. Half Nearly fell off a building for this. I'm surprised. Like that information, all that, it's still going on. It seems all very useful. Some would say so, yeah, hats off to them for that. I hope it doesn't repeat throughout the game. If it were to be updated, that'd be really amazing. Authorities are asking that you not approach. So tickets. Okay, I think we've interacted with everything we can. 
And now the game wants us to put the data drive into the feed. Still going on. It's like a real newscast. Wow. Oh. That's not what we wanted. Here, data point. All right. They'll advance things. Find out what was so important. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust them. Alright, they had something in the valley, so I think it is repeating. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm going to... No. Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. The dusting is murder. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Let me try a different angel. It only lets me move it left to right. I, I can't move anything on the up down axis. 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 So, obviously, I'm supposed to put this into some sort of position. I can't really figure out. And maybe find something with the right thumbstick here. But, maybe come around here. This is a map of the oh. east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your now, father is Bruce, I'm trying to avoid the smart like Alec comments and just be straight they ruined up. Gotham stellar reputation. And that might be the same Back as Batman. I don't really one. see Batman as a quipper, it although he does occasionally. Again, Bruce. But they let you as the player if you want no, to be people that. People like this cat woman you, aren't you helping. Play that way, you can. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. So they want me to check the codex now. What else do we have? The Gotham feed we looked at. That was for newspaper clippings. So let's check out the codex. Many of these I, I looked at before the game began because I didn't want to bog down with the information during the gameplay. But obviously they want us to check out some of the stuff. See the things with the exclamation mark? Those are the, the new entries and those are probably what we need to look at right now. So that's where I'll go. Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. Penguin. Crimes, arms dealing, illegal boxing matches, receiving stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England, and there our paths diverged. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet and a strange nickname. The Penguin? What happened to you, Oz? And that I looked at. The, here, this is a new entry, Vicky Vale. I'm reading these because I think they might be important to the gameplay. That's why I'm not reading the rest. But perhaps there's a chance that they're just... It's part of like a tutorial. They want to show you that this exists, and this won't be that important to gameplay. 
Vicky Vale, investigative journalist, Gotham Gazette, one of Gazette's one of the Gazette's most ambitious and competent reporters. I've read her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. And there was one more new entry. <coughs> yeah, Carmine Falcone. Skyline Club owner, head of the Falcone fi crime family. The worst kind of gangster, one who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him in I could haul him to jail, but he'd walk the next day. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in its place. His empire is vast and multi-layered. Finding hard, admissible evidence is required for a conviction. I think I've read all the new entries. There's one more, and that might be the one that we we need to read. Hamilton Hill, mayor of Gotham City. Exhibit A, and what's wrong with this city? Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government and a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core, and one day this city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully... This upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. I think we don't need anything else. And they only wanted us to check the codex just to show us how to use it. So I'm going to back out and hope that we got what we needed. Maybe not. All right. Now I'm lost. What are we? What do I need here? Access Gotham feed. All right. We, we looked at this earlier. Uh, okay. Now I'm lost. I don't know what I need to get here. I need to get something, obviously. What do we need? All right. I'm going to quick scroll through all, all the entries. And maybe that'll trigger whatever it is we need to trigger. Founder. Ah, uh, okay. Cat burglar, crimes, burglary, petty larceny. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. That's right, they were talking about more information on her. Getting more information on her. That's why we needed to go to the codex. And hopefully, that's what we needed. Not much to yeah, find, good it was. apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins, seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately, as Bruce or Batman. Silent. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's going to figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. The city needs I have me. a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. <laughs> oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Nice little pun. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Take it, of course. Why wouldn't I take it? I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. So this is retconning, and I don't so like it when they retcon the criminals into part of Batman's history. Stance? That's a criminal. In the comic man. books, if Scott Snyder retconned that Harvey Dent and Bruce knew each other's children, and here we're getting Oswald Cobblepot, supposedly new Bruce. Troubling. 
And Why he's returning now? I find it's kind of cheap usually to retcon. Haven't the faintest idea. It's not Do you think he might know something about the break-in? I, this I find it's kind of cheap the same time to try to, to town. might not be a coincidence. Create Oswald's more drama between Bruce and the villains by be. retconning a past history that City didn't Hall. exist before. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. I wonder if we can talk to this guy. It's like a homeless person. No, nothing. And we're gonna get an invisible wall there. And I don't like these controls. You get the tank controls. But I want to go back. I'll go back. So I wanted. I wanted to investigate the stuff on the steps here. Newspaper, look at probably going to be info dump. Wayne shuns Falcone at Dent Fundraiser. <coughs> Take a look at the graffiti. Not really giving us much time to look at it. I believe it's like someone's underwear up in the tree, or is that graffiti? No, it's graffiti. Look like underwear hanging from the branch. Okay, we're done there. Now let's look around. Give change, give change. Of course, Bruce is gonna give change to the homeless person. Uh, thank you, sir. That might be Cobblepot. I don't remember. I mean, I, I as I mentioned, I watched a, a playthrough of episode one after it came out, but. I don't really recall a lot. I'm guessing, though, this could be Cobblepot. No, wait. I'm thinking of the Riddler. Cobblepot wouldn't look like that. All right, so let's see. Anything else we can look at here? There's a newspaper. All right, nothing else. We just go in. Look at Burning Barrel. Oops, look at Burning Barrel. Nothing else. All right. What next? I don't see anything to interact with, so we'll go in further. <sighs> Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. Okay. Right now, I'm looking up again. Something on Wikipedia, very quickly. Player of Oswald, the character of Oswald Cobblepot, voiced by Jason Spizak. And looks like he has done a lot of animation and video games. Anything else? Let me walk in. Smoking Man. The Smoking Man! You're in the wrong series. You should be in the X-Files. Let's look at the shopping cart. That would be an interesting crossover. X-Files Batman. A 
comic book crossover. Statue, look at statue. Let's go. Uh, let's look at this environment first before interacting with the smoking man. Okay, graffiti probably nothing. Yeah, not much of anything. Okay, take a look at the plaque. Probably gonna be for Oswald Cobblepot, I'm guessing. I can't well, read it. It isn't what it used to be. Look like Cobbleton Park. Just so, yeah, plaque about the park. And what else? We have more graffiti. It's probably gonna be nothing. Yeah, nothing. Let's look at the statue. There's a half eaten apple core next to it. Oh, is this triggered? Watch wallet cash. Triggered an event. But this goes through you. Give him the watch wallet and the cash. You're you persuading you can't fight. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? You want me to cut it out of you? Bruce and can't then. fight. Give it to him. Just give him it. Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? Oh, this don't cannot. concern your Apple twerk. You see, statue. that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. The moment! Come here. I think that'll Bruce do. can't fight. No, we're going to miss it. Bruce can't fight. Stay down. Dang. Nope, Bruce can't fight. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Bruce can't fight. I didn't do that. So that must have been a can't fail. This moment. is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah, good as new. Dang. Pretty violent. Woo! Oh, that, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Oh, it's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. I'm still not a fan of Brett Conning Cobblepot as a friend of Bruce. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm just going to emphasize with now them. all em I got. Empathize. Is this empathize. And say, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Oz. Yeah, I'm not going to mention my no parents. It's not about me. That. that is Bruce. Bruce, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. If 
Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. There's Falcone gotta be more to it than made that. a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? Well, they've created an a interesting role for Cobblepot here. Door, and I'm here to let it in. It, normally, he's portrayed as just a money-grubbing criminal. Bruce. You see, but you throw a rock in any here he seems to have an agenda of beyond making money. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I have to wonder if this game were made before the 2008-2009 financial crisis, if this role of Cobblepot would have been written differently. Because it definitely seems to be the kind of role that would be in the, the zeitgeist, the kind of role you'd make for a cobble pot after people began to distrust the wealthy uh, more than they did before. And not just distrust the wealthy, but to trust the, distrust the system that let them become wealthy and want to change it all through any means necessary. I'm about to take a pause for a restroom break. I'll be back in about two to three minutes. And I'm back. Thanks for waiting. This will give me a moment to kind of talk about why I'm deciding uh, for the actions for Bruce that I am. And it relates to how do you view Bruce Wayne and the tragedy that he suffered as a child? Do you, do you think that that tragedy imprinted him so deeply that he never really recovered and Batman is his way of dealing with the pain that came from that do you view him as a hurt flawed individual or do you view the death of his parents as a deeply tragic event that through much effort of will bruce was able to overcome and that he now wants to make the city of gotham a better place so that other people don't have to deal with the same tragedy he did do you view him as healthy and 
acting out of a healthy drive or do you view him as broken and unhealthy and i side with grant morrison that bruce is a person who overcame a, a very an event that would break most people but in his case it made him a stronger person and he is acting in a healthy way and that's not a view shared by every creator that works with batman and so that's why i'm you can see I don't have him cracking wise with other people when there are problems and Bruce, Bruce is given a chance to bring it back to himself or to empathize with the other person. I'm selecting the op options where he's empathizing with other, other, the other person because I view him as a healthy person, healthy individual. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today... With a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Uh, for those out. with mental health issues, there are no so cuts again, or scrapes. I'm choosing it to Their not make it about Bruce, invisible. but Bruce's care but for inside, the city. Inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night... My parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. My parents were heroes that night, and we can all learn from their sacrifice. Today, yeah, I chose that because that it relates to month, creating the, the hospital help other people. So there, I did. Martha Wayne, I did bring it back to Bruce's. A new era of healing for Gotham. Bruce's personal life. There, I thought it was appropriate. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? It's not up to me answer. It's up to Harvey Dent to answer. Hopefully he has an answer. I know this is a sensitive subject, Mr. No? I, I withdraw my question. Hmm. All I right, Harvey would answer that. Oh, Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Here we go again. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? No, this I have to ignore. 
this time. In the middle of a but press Mr. Conference. Wang, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? No comment. I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Rebel, what rebel. are you telling us? Does rebel, the mob rebel. sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations rebel, be rebel. true? Rebel, 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 rebel. Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. <coughs> Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Boo. Oh. Well, we knew that was going to be important. There wouldn't be a phone call for a frivolous reason, but I didn't feel like I could answer it there. Realistically, in the middle of a press conference. So that was a little bit contrived, that situation. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Are we gonna get a moment with I meant what Bruce I said, and no, Gordon? Not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill Mayor. signed off on this himself. Right. So that... As long as he's McCartney. mayor, he calls the shots. You're blank. I think he's corrupt, but so, I'm not going to say that. Consider yourself served. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Yeah. Hill uh, knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down. Hill's too. corrupt. That'd be a real shame. He's tied in with Alcone. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes. I pray you've got nothing to hide. I really love that we've spent so much of the game now playing as Bruce. And I imagine they made the con conscious decision to open the game as Batman because they knew a lot of this opening section you'd be playing as Bruce and they didn't want players to get antsy waiting for their chance to play Batman. Yeah, because the only important thing we got from the beginning really was the introduction to Catwoman that I can recall. Maybe there was some information there we also learned about Falcone Bruce, that I missed. Stay back. Take whatever you want! You... You don't have to do this! It seems like it's almost impossible for any creator who gets their chance to deal with Batman for the Bruce. first time to not replay Bruce. this scene. Bruce. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. 
Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. I really like the subtle music here. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Uh, because it's political and I'm part of it, on I think I would give a quote. Whenever you're ready. Justice will be served. My family is innocent. Justice will be served. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. That's not quite Understood. what I intended. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Because it sounds like he's giving a threat, which I don't really believe. I wouldn't want Bruce to do. It tips the scales too you're much gonna towards... Beat this. Bruce. Him Wayne's being always come out on the top. persona of Bruce Goodbye, being closer Michelle. to Batman, which would be unsafe for the persona of, Bat of Bruce and Batman. You don't want people to guess that Bruce is Batman. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. On the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Now, I don't think... Then find out until why... Until the past several years that the Wayne history was ever examined as being compromised. I, I could be mistaken about that, but I don't believe it was... I think it's a more recent invention that people have started to imply. People, creators, have started to imply that there's a dark darkness to the history of the, the Waynes. The Most notably, on? Scott Snyder and his Wait, Court of Owls and this morning? series. That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Someone's yeah, after me. someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. All right, let's empathize. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. I don't Mayor have any Hill's evidence that Harvey would be... Over with this yeah, that Harvey would be... And he's well, made two enemies. I don't have any evidence that Harvey would be trying to undercut me behind the scenes, but... I just but... don't get it. The, there's Why that, would Hill stick his neck out over this? There's the fact that he just invited in Carmona Falcone investigation? to the fundraiser. It just doesn't make sense. And he's taking and money he from Falcone. What could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? So, Do you think Harvey Falcone maybe could be behind it? double dealing, didn't seem too which would the fundraiser. fit in with his name, the character Two-Face. Oh, God, what a mess. And I... Bruce, I wish I could just I make could this go away, I could see a twist here where sure the mayor is if more I innocent in the and Harvey's investigation, more I would be able guilty, to spin it as guiltier. a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Selena with Harvey? Yeah, this game is trying too hard to create connections between the different figures and villains in Bruce's life. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. So, according this to this Selena. game, 
Bruce? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Went to school with Cobblepot. Just election nonsense. I think we've met before. And you do look familiar. Selena Kyle knows Harvey. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. Gonna be really hard to play this golf. scene without choosing a double on Tom and Tondra at You're an excellent uh, options. Tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. <laughs> I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. Yeah. Well, I hope not. These were important materials. I'm going for double entendre Ooh, here. Sensitive? Very. Just because I'm Bruce and Selena have point. the history, the and romantic like this happen in my chemistry between each other. People tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. And when he leaves, I hey, imagine this is where Selena is really going to drop her mask. I'm guessing. And be more blunter about knowing that this is Batman. Watch. I'm guessing. No? No, okay. She already implied she knew it was Batman when she talked about the dropping. Don't drop me. Nice to meet the real you. Uh, yeah, there it is. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen. I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact, he'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. 
Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. <laughs> I have my people kinda, working on it. Kind of hard to not appear to be out. a dope coming in on a... Already. After you left your girlfriend with your friend, and they've Sorry, been having an intimate I've conversation. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? At least in a movie. Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment, and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right, then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Now, I wonder if I hadn't gone for being open about knowing who she was and op open that she guessed who I am, if I had tried to be more deceptive, what would have happened in that conversation? Again, Telltale doesn't really let you branch too far away. So Albert, she may have just at the warehouse. forced no the issue if, if I wasn't Albert. open about it. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. And now we get our second chance to play as Batman hour and a half into the gameplay so full about a full hour is bruce i really appreciate that i think wait for me to open it oh, i see okay like this no nope. forward oh i see okay. he does look dead i see blood around him mm. i don't remember this scene too much this wasn't a handoff it was a massacre how many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? Looks like a Batman That's shadow. what I'm gonna find out. On the floor. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Ugh. Uh, that's just some pretty gnarly stuff. Let's look at the scorch marks. See, it looks like a bat pattern a little bit. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Let's take, uh, I think there's a puzzle in this room I have to check out. I have to solve. I remember the playthrough, right? I guess look at Nothing the... left to bury. People parts. So that's a clue? Okay. Oh, I see. So that's how the investigation is going to work. Let's take a look. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Let me take a look around before opening a door. Visible wall. Oh, clawed off face. Sweet. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not Man bat? natural causes then. I don't remember. What, what, there, I, there's, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a fight here. I don't remember. I thought it was against just low life thugs and criminals. But that torn off face would imply, like, Man Bat. Skyline Club. 
I don't remember if Mambat's a villain here. Can we link? What would we link it with? Oops. I don't know what we'd link him with yet. So let's look at the cop. If we could link these two together. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Gnarly. What did this? Oh, sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is not your father's Batman. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. Yeah, gross. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Something else? What's left? Okay. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. We can connect, I guess, but uh, incendiary bullet to the fire. Can we link those and link it to the fire? Where's the fire? Blast epicenter, yes. So, no proof. Anything up here? Break the links to reset. So, break link. Alright. Nothing up there. So, right now, everything we need is going to be down here. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drone Deadshot? I want to know his every move. Deadshot? Thinking, Would that be the incendiary bullet? Would that be the, his MO? But let's try linking these two guys. Uh, we're going to link together from them. We've got... So we got ripped up face, bullet, and skull. Well, it's like the bullet and the skull. It seems to be a no-brainer. Come on. Good to get closer. Bloody hands. Link bullet to bloody hands. No, the skull. Mm -hmm. Maybe bloody hands to the face. Let's break link. Cancel link. Let's do hands, his hands, to this guy's face. A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Scarecrow? So that's good. So every evidence links to something else, or most of it does. We've got the bullet. That's going to link to something. So let's open the crate now. White rose. Would that link to something? Here's a cop up here. No. Will it let us go up these steps? Let's take a look. No. Invisible wall. All right. I think that bullet still needs to link with some evidence. But I think I've explored the scene... Enough. Let's go open the crate. Oh, what's down here? Crate Something was there. here when the explosion occurred. And where would it have gone? For this direction. Outside. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Oh, it will let us go in here now. The pellets. It wouldn't let us do that before. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a good 
question. Maybe the nerve agent that was used in the attack? Okay, let's try to open this up. Anything else? Right. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Now we link the bullet to that. All right. Sweet. Yeah, nothing else in there. All right. So link canister fragment to bullet, which is way the heck, way the heck over here. What's that? Must have been center. To the bullet. Oops. To the bullet. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. So we need one more thing. Um who else is gonna be linked? Uh appears not to be military. You got the remains? No. So whatever's left probably has to be linked together. I think we had the two things. Cop cop and blast site. Wait, yeah, incendiary area incendiary area. Maybe the incendiary area yeah, the blast epicenter and the unscorched area. Let's do that. Someone drove off after the explosion. It's a Green Lantern construct. Can put it together. Yes. Did we finish? Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. This investigative system Same kind of reminds me of what they Same did in the Rocksteady board. games, or the... I can't Looks remember like if Falcone it was used like this in the first board. Rocksteady, Batman Arkham escaped. Asylum, but it was Actually, definitely used the in the no, electronic... No, based on two arts. impact trajectories, the canister Prequel. and the dead cop. I can't remember what the name of that Shooter was. could only have a clear shot from there... The investigative system they there, used there. Or there. The Batman prequel. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Okay, this is sniper nest. So now we're gonna go up. I think it's probably here, but I want to check as many of the other potential clues out. Is it gonna let me grab up there? It will. But I want to check out this these areas first. There's a cop up here, a dead cop. Let's check that out. Yes. Not a bad angle. No trace of phosphorus, though. Not a bad angel. My guess is that that, that one at the top, that's the one that we're supposed to go to, but I want to investigate everything first. Okay, so let's go over here. Targets could have been shot from here. 
but no phosphorus trace. There's the explosion pattern. Is that where I went to? I don't want to repeat. I feel like I went there already. That's where we came from. No, I can't go anywhere else. The game's telling me. The game's telling me go there. Spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. So what do we want us to do now? Pursue trace. Let's investigate this first. Lit cigarette, hmm. someone's there. Killing time. Bum bum. It's a lit cigarette. Batman, are you really that dense? This is the right spot. So where did he go? He's still here. I really can't believe Batman looked at the lit cigarette and just went ho hum. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Duh. Found him. Time to go to work. your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you If I remember nothing. right, there's a decision I have to make here about how much I'm going to torture him. You can't make me talk! You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find him. Yeah, so I have to decide how brutal is my Batman. You trying to scare and I believe it, I'm not going to make him that brutal. You're Again, because the idea that he's got a healthy psychology, not an unhealthy one. But I don't know. When it comes to the moment, I may decide to go total brutal. Total Benghazi. No, not Benghazi. Uh, Abu Ghraib. It's true what they Abu say Grabe. about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. Then live up to my, reputation. Up to my reputation. Oh, no, that's not... <laughs> That means he's gonna be brutal. Whoops. You know you can bleed to death without ever <laughs> spilling a drop. That's not what I want to do. All on the inside. <laughs> Tell me the plan. Uh, I start swinging. I don't want to be that brutal. I'm not gonna kill him. All right. Berries intimidate. Not face. Ribs. Berries. Barrels intimidate. We're gonna do now I believe Tell Batman me. would hurt, but I don't think he would maim. The Catwoman. Supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <sighs> Oh. Please, no, no. I guess I would. Oh, I would apply no. pressure. Like, I have no other choice no. here, right? Stop. It won't let me do anything do else. That. Yeah. <clears throat> it won't let me do anything else. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> arm. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. <laughs> the chemicals are some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcone said he'd use him soon. Used where? That's all I know. Oh. I swear, I swear. Right. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. Yeah, okay, back out. Just, um, you can't rely on information Jesus you get from torture. Christ. That's why I would not be down for having Batman torture people. There, I'm gonna straight up. We're gonna talk to Gordon. Hey, freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. My God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is oh, all really, about? Oh, really, Kate? I get credit I for being nonviolent. Sweet. You was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Falcone was behind this. Falcone, yeah. 
I thought he'd been a little quiet lately. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. Oh, nice Don't line. Don't taking this too far, Bruce. That was a nice line. I'm gonna guess if I had tortured him, I would have had to hide. Gordon would not have been down with it. So I did get a reward there for taking a more non-violent approach. That was nice in the game. Nice, to, nice result, consequence to the decision tree I chose. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Uh, I don't like this characterization of Alfred You're a good being man, against Bruce, Bruce good. being Batman. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, right. I won't lose my so way. So you can... Well, it could be claimed that a lot of the reason it's why it, quite understandable Batman to survived the, now and again. the tragedy... So long as you can find your way back, is because of the mentorship you bury of the person, Alfred. Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. And that Bruce has been able to be such a successful mentor to other night, other people, others that had similar backgrounds as him. All those Robins, you I can say that's as much due that to Alfred as it is to Bruce. And your curse, being Batman, can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores, or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that was nice that framing. boy in the alley. Of course, I'm accept I won't. They forget. put they're putting Batman between Alfred and Bruce, Neither which is nice. I. Well, back into the fray again. Guessing we're supposed to go to the Codex, yeah. Let's check out. I think we when you're supposed to go to the Codex first, and then take the information we learned from the Codex and use it in the computer. All right, so we've so the update on Catwoman and Cobblepot. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to access here, because I don't want to bog the playthrough down with reading all these entries. So I'll just quickly go through until we find the one we're supposed to have, and then I can read that. I imagine he'll say that's the information I need. No. Nope. Back out. Nope. Maybe I have to scroll down like this. Okay, so it wasn't Harvey. Okay, information on Catwoman. No. Gordon? That's Alfred. I think we saw yeah, I saw something for Gordon. Anything? Nope. Cobble pot. Nope. Dickie Vale. Anything? Nope. Is there something on Falcone? Yes. No? Alright, I'm gonna lost here, so let's use the computer and then come back. Is that new? No. And then come back to the codex. Maybe we'll find something first on the computer. Go. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. 
You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. So again, we're, we're forced. We're, we're confronted with, with the, proof, the choice. Finally, knock out Falcone's uh, who, organization. Who is corrupt? Is it the mayor or is it Harvey Dent? Where would we possibly and begin I'm not to sure dismantle yet. it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Oh, this is an interesting decision. Yeah, do we do Vicky Vale or James Gordon? I'm not sure. Boy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm torn. Uh, yeah, so, before, before I decide, this is... A common this is a, a common decision they, they force you to make in Telltale Games near the end of an episode. They'll give you two characters and force you to decide between one of them. It happens in Walking Dead Season 1. And did it happen in The Wolf Within? I can't remember. Jeez, I, I really don't know. What would make the playthrough more interesting? Vicky Vell or Gordon? My goodness, I can't decide. If I go with Vicky Vale, I'll have interactions with her more as Bruce. And the... What part of Bruce would that bring out? I guess it would bring out the corporate, the CEO aspect. And with Gordon, that's going to be working with the police. The press or the police. Let's do Vicky Vale because... So much of Batman's history is him working with Gordon. It'll be interesting to explore working with Vicky Vale. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Would you have said the same thing if I chose Gordon? The media wise decision. And Batman. By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. And the reply there, if he had said no person has ever bring him down, then you answer, I'm no person, I'm Batman. I'm no person, I'm the Batman. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. Don't question it, just publish it. I'm a reporter. Questions go with the territory. But now, if this game had come out after Seriously. The 2016 election, I wonder if that would have been different, much as if Cobblepot's role like had been created the before city. the financial My crisis, career? that would have been different. I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it... God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. By a bulletproof vest. It's the dress code for reporters here. Thanks for the tip, but I've held my own so far. She's not gonna use it? I always think. Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head- Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm really even silent. I don't think it's Bruce's role to really know. He wants to improve, help the city, but I don't think he would know the best solution for it. And 
It's a good Apart thing you gave this to me work. instead of the police. Philanthropic work. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. Be seeing you, Vicky. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Is that the drive? Can I do anything else? This is a ridiculous. This is a false choice because I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything else, right? I can't look around. I can't decide not to drive the car. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Alright, I'm going to pause here in a second and do a second restroom break as soon as, as this scene ends. Okay, Wait, it's loading. But after it loads, I'm going to pause and do another restroom break. There we go. Okay, restroom break. Be back in a minute or two. All right, thanks for waiting. Give me a second or two to get resituated again, but I'm done with the rest of your break. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, again, I've seen this first episode. It's fun playing through it and making my own decisions, but I never, f I never watched the rest of it because I knew I'd want to play the game on my own, so I don't really know where the story goes. And I've heard it is one of Telltale's better games. There is a drop off in their more recent games after their after their success of the walking dead and the wolf among us tales from the borderland is mentioned in the article that i talked about earlier about the history of telltale games there was a toxic culture behind the scenes and they had a huge creative drain due to conflicts uh, with the ceo and Last year, the CEO resigned from the company.
company, so I'm hoping there'll be a turnaround. They're able to retain their talent. But Batman is supposed to be one of the better games, so I'm excited to play this through to, to the last episode. I'm almost ready. I just had to get a drink of water there. And we're about to go. If I remember right, this will be, I think this is the final, the final act of the first episode. So I think we're about maybe half hour away from, from the conclusion of episode one. I could be wrong, but I think we're, we're coming up to the end of the episode one. Falcone. Right, so that's gonna move the reticle. This moves the reticle. I can move the drone, but oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Right, interesting. So what is that going to do? Just to look at. Good point of entry. This is where you get the option to plan your attack. And if I remember right, <laughs> there's a couple ways you can do Tell this. Me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. These are nice little dialogues. to zoom in. Okay, I'll give you that option. Oh, what's down there? See something? Yeah, right there. Nothing here. Okay, so there we go. So I'm trouble blocking on that. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Because of a red wedding? That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. And here's where I get to choose the plan of attack. There's kind of a nice, nice aspect to this scene. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. So I link him to an option, to attack option, right? How about we can do light? There was something else like a statue. Oh, the statue. Do we want to do modern art? Uh, no, we're not going to destroy the art piece. Let's link him to the light. This is nice. You you can't do combat 
in a Telltale game like you could in a Rocksteady game, but I like that they're letting you kind of create how the combat scene is going to play out. It's kind of cool. You're creating a narrative for it. So let's examine the mobster. What do we have? Head into coffee table or head into folding screen. Let's imagine the folding screen is antique, so I don't want to ruin that. And the coffee table is just a coffee table. There could be head trauma there. Ah. All right, I don't want to give him head trauma, so we'll just do the folding screen. There you go. It's kind of wonky trying to get it to lock on. See how it keeps zooming past? Still get head trauma there. Could get broken neck. Okay, who's next? This guy probably gonna take care of. Nope. I'm pretty sure the guy out there we're gonna have to take care of. That's how we get get inside. Who else? I feel like he would be a dude, but maybe he's just a party party guest. Here. And how can we get rid of him? Marble pillar. Is there a clever way? Like with a battering? There must be another option here. Oh, stairs. Alright, so it's stairs. Staircase meet gunman. Here, I'm surprised. Now there's a guy, the dude outside. We have to get. Yeah. I would love to string him up. Tricky. Any ideas? Yes, up. Out. You're gonna string him up. Up, up here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's some rock steady stealth stuff there. Is it, what's the second option? Down. Balcony railing. Wonder if that's gonna be the stringing up, and he like hangs down here. Upper balcony might be jumping down on top of him. Let's try balcony railing. That's all? That's Bruce, disappointing. Have you formulated your plan of attack? Can I redo? Not yet. I want to redo this. Drone cameras. No, I hope I don't have to redo are. everything. I want to redo the one guy. Okay, let me redo. I want to redo him. Yeah, redo him. Let's do him. And up here. Upper balcony. I hope that means we string him up. I would love that. That's all? That's pretty lame. Have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. I'm gonna guess Falcone will have some dark secret he's gonna reveal after Batman confronts him, although I don't know how you would know Batman is Bruce Wayne. But he's probably got some dirt ready. He'll weasel his way out somehow. I bet you that was not failable, even if I did move the uh, left the reticle there. These dudes I, I did nothing for. Oh, not available. I think that meter fills up. What was I missed? When you do something correctly. Next. And it doesn't fill up when you do it incorrectly, I'm guessing. Nice shooting, Bob. 
funny. Show yourself! Yeah, see how the meter's you filling up when I'm doing it correctly? There's gotta be reward. You can't you can't fail them, but there's gotta be some sort of reward when you do it correctly, that's my guess. Uh, I like that actor's voice. I wonder if the scene ends when I fill the bat meter up all the way. That's the reward. I'll look that up later. So that I'm not ignorant of it next next for episode two. Can't sneak up on me. I'm the Batman, of course I can sneak up on you. It's what I do. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the Batman. Of course it's gonna work. Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! I, you know who my lawyers, my lawyers are. Stay down, Falcon. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Taking a non violent approach. Answers now! Or you fall. That's not what I chose, I just wanted Get answers. Out, ah. Yes, I would. Ah. It's true. So why would I even bluff ah. it? The chemicals. Unless I jump after him. Where are they? Grab Where? them. I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. Could have been set up. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, could have been set up. Ah. Come on, Batman, be smarter than yeah. that. Something. Reeks about this old thing. It's probably telling the truth. Dead bat. It's Wonder Woman sign. Morning. So Harvey Still Dent. Still want to play games? Harvey Dent well, said, um, played in, couldn't you? Right, Harvey Dent said, "Up, Falcone." Those Falcone's chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right. But someone. Try to cut me out of the deal, because I did not make that mess at the docks. So maybe it is the mayor <laughs> and Harvey Dent no, working together. We're done. Gotham's watching. Oh, now. but there's also Cobblepot. Uh, Don't forget, he's in the background. Go I'm not ahead. gonna kill him anyway. Give him a show. I'll be walking Again. free by tomorrow morning. Arrest. Falcone, uh, brutalize. Falcone, arrest. <laughs> Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the wings. <laughs> They're behind all this. Yeah, so what there he is. Mean? I had a feeling he'd have you some dirty information. This city. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Is that Cobblepot? That wouldn't make sense. Cobblepot was a youngster then, right? With the Lumber Bruce. So Falcone. Thanks for the assist. In that picture. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire!
That's a nice trophy name. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone. Well, who made that Skyrail crash? Who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, yeah, we no longer the same. have such assurances. Take that Scott worse, Snyder had on the, the Wayne history as what the they're tree. doing in the Telltale Gotham's game. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked and as his I parents. And where I didn't shake his hand didn't make defense, any difference. See that? Wayne fired back saying, Whoever It would have been the same thing if I had shaken his hand. My family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. As if, as if In I a world shook it, where the Waynes and our shaken. golden family are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the <coughs> truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. Car. This entire cave. <coughs> Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I. What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! It's another ch cheap meme betrayal of Alfred. Alfred betraying Bruce, but they never really do it, with the exception of Scott Snyder in his All-Star Batman. Refresh the stats. This will show us the decisions other people made. Right. Okay, so most of us defy Falcone by inviting Harvey into the private room. All right. So most people make that decision. Oh, really? Oh, wait, that's just giving a quote. All right. That was nothing. I'm wondering the decision between Vicky and Commissioner Gordon, what the percentage breakdown was on that. I imagine it was like 50-50. Oh, not at all. Most people gave it to Gordon. Okay, good. I made the uncommon choice. That's what I was thinking. That most pe most of the t history, it's Batman working with Gordon. So I thought it'd be interesting to, to work with Vale because we don't normally see that. It's not explored so much. Yeah, most people don't brutalize him. That's good. Okay, cool. So that's all the data. I'm going to let the credits play through. Uh, hopefully it's not too long. Right. Okay, I'm not going to let them play through. They could be really, really long. So let's just continue to the next time on. And the nice thing about this is the next time on is it's... To, when based your on the decision you made playing the game, so it could be different for every player. Of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them.
Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully this one knocks something useful out of him. It looks like that rose is red on the inside and it was white and then the hallway. Oh wait, Bruce, I'm wearing the sorry. Name is toxic. <laughs> I'm wearing gamer I glasses. Have to do what's best that for are my tinted yellow. What's best so for I may have seen that color wrong. I have to distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. And that's it for the game. I uh, thank you for watching. That's in for uh, in for episode one. And watch my channel if it's not there already. Soon I will tape uh, episode two. And that's all for now. Be well.